Anger Watt, $37 for a single day pass, and you're gonna need an entire day to do this. They also have multi-day passes if you wanna take your time and spread it out, you can do that. When should you go? Well, early in the morning, the light's amazing, but so are the crowds. In the middle of the day, it's very hot. There's not many people there, which you'll see in the video. That's how you avoid the crowds. And then at sunset, it gets a little more crowded, but it's not crazy like it is for sunrise. We did sunrise nine years ago, so we decided let's go in the middle of the day this time to avoid the crowds. So do you want that perfect photo, perfect video, and fight these crowds, or do you just want to have that nice anger watt experience, and it'll be kind of hot, but I think the lighting's still pretty. You'll see it in this video. Lastly, how should you do it? Well, you can book with a tour operator and they'll get your tuk-tuk driver, they'll get your tickets, and they'll decide which temples you're gonna go to and in what order. But you know, there's no such thing as a perfect tour for everyone, and we decided, since we've already done that, that this time we would just pay our own tuk-tuk driver, and we decided which temples to go to and what order. We actually did Anger Wat last and started with small temples first, so it kind of built up to this grand finale. And you know, there's lots of temples that we think are better than Anger Wat, and in their own special way. So maybe that's how you want to do it. Don't worry about bringing water and food into the park. You can get a liter of water for less than 50 cents and there's plenty of places to eat at the entrance to like every temple. So as far as amazing places to walk around and experience, Anger Watts near the top of that list. Anger Wat gives you the impression of a lost city, something that time has completely forgotten. And the words Anger Wat translate literally to city of temples. The complex was built in the 12th century originally as a Hindu temple, but was later converted to Buddhist temples. There are about a dozen main temples that are frequently visited and can be seen in a single but very long day. Anger Wat, the entire complex of temples, is not walkable. You're going to have a tuk-tuk driver, and depending on who you hire, what tour company you go with, they might say, we're going to take you to this one, this one, this one, this one. And sometimes it won't include small temples like this. Like, this is a little guy. This is like the size of like a super big beach house or something. It's not a big temple, but the advantages are there's no one here. It's still very picturesque and scenic, great for photos, great for video and you really shouldn't skip it if you have time. Like Angkor Wat is an all day thing. Don't think you're gonna run through and see all these temples in like two hours. Not gonna happen. I mean, you can, but you're gonna miss a lot. I love the small temples because it's just us. And so I feel like we get to really stand in every single doorway, look up at awe and just like, A day pass will cost you about $37. They sell multi-day passes as well if you'd rather take your time. So it's still, it's been nine years since we've been here at Anger Wat, and it's still still super impressive um, but I think as Maggie and I are just walking around this really highlights the importance of traveling traveling as soon as you can if you can travel now travel now because we were here nine years ago and we're both kind of taken aback at how much of Anger Wat in general the temple complex not the main uh, temple but just some of the smaller temples around it have crumbled how they've fallen down and now there's tons of uh like scaffolding, lumber, propping things up. They're, they've got metal bands wrapped around some of the spires to keep them together. Cause this place is just like a bunch of Lego blocks stacked up. And I don't know if there was an earthquake or just the vegetation or what, but a lot of it is now closed off when it wasn't nine years ago cause it's no longer safe. And a lot of it is just uh, piles of rubble, you know? So you don't know if it used to look amazing if this happened recently, but we're definitely noticing some differences. So it's just, the main point of travel now, travel as soon as you can, because the world's changing. Another reason you should travel now is the size of the crowds. Anger Wat has seen visitor levels triple in recent years as travel becomes more accessible, and trying to experience the atmosphere of abandoned and lost temples is becoming more difficult. Nine years ago when we were here, it was not very crowded. We came for sunrise at Anger Wat, 
and there were like 30 people there. There were open chairs right in front of the water. But everything we've read today is that there's hundreds, if not thousands of people lining up for sunrise. You're fighting for the perfect photo and footage, and we just want to deal with that. So the best way to avoid huge crowds, if you're willing to deal with this heat, is to come in the middle of the day. Even though it's hot, you've just got little tour groups milling around, and you still get that very peaceful, solemn, anger watt experience as opposed to Disney World trying to get a photo, waiting in line for 20 minutes to get a photo of a tree. That's what you'll get if you come super early in the morning or for sunset. We'll deal with the heat. The storm's rolling in and we may miss Angkor Wat, but I don't think we're really gonna miss it. We're just gonna like run from like cover to cover. Might be a big rain coming, big rain coming. So we stopped at this gate real quick, but we think a big rain's coming. And we gotta go see Angkor Wat before the big rain, because there's a big rain coming. Big rain. We can hear the thunder in the distance, but it hasn't started raining yet. And we got all of our photos, we got all of our video. Try to get a couple more and then get out of here before all of our cameras get soaked. It's gonna rain and the camera gear is not waterproof right now. Sometimes it is, but not right now. It's not waterproof, we gotta go. So my watch thinks I'm working out, and uh, I guess based upon my fitness level, that little jog would mean that it's a full-blown workout. According to my Apple Watch, it's like, slow down, your heart rate is too high. <laughs> one of the seven wonders of the world and you come here and you just kind of like you know I wonder how they built this and I wonder which way we go now that's why they call it a wonder of the world because you just you just you're wondering things I wonder if it's gonna rain or not I can't tell I wonder if there's a bathroom anywhere <laughs> okay